Today, I play the silent on Ascension 20. Can I win with two nightmares or die before Act 3? Let's find out. Another try. Choose. Colorless card starts are more and more appealing. Ooh. Wall of Elites here is a bit spooky. We could maybe get a one-hit point elite with Niao's Lament going this way, but only maybe. Ultimately, there are a lot of elites this act. We could do one, two, three. And in addition to this, there's no guaranteed way past that first elite. That's a bit tricky. That's definitely a bit tricky. We could lose all our money to remove two cards. That's not too bad a start. Although, against Slime Boss is arguably a bad thing. Is Dagger Spray below par? I've been thinking it might be Death Draw. Without an upgrade especially, Dagger Spray just doesn't do enough damage. If you invest an upgrade into it, it's okay, but not amazing. And ultimately, uh, common attacks like that really weigh you down in the late game. Dagger Spray, notably, is a common attack without a useful secondary effect. No weakness like Sucker Punch, no draw like Dagger Throw or Quick Slash. Why is remove against Slime Boss bad? Because, yeah, exactly, drawing Strike is better than drawing a Slimed. Slime Boss is going to add a whole bunch of status cards to our deck. And the more real cards we have to draw into, the less likely we are to see those Slimes. Also, this first elite could be really nasty without a one-hit point elite here. This is this is something you never want to see in Silent Act 1. Uh, mandatory elite before first campfire, and then slime boss after the fact. It's just extra nasty. It's really making me want to go Niava's Lament. Is there an elite snipe? This is this path green in green here is about 50% chance to snipe an elite. On silent, I think I would remove one strike, one defend to begin. It is indeed never ever remove two strikes. Because you will actually just die to Jawworm. Um, and then also to Gremlin Knob if you meet him. Not quite death draw, because the the first combat chance is only 10%, not 25%. And the cultist fight is 25% chance. So what that means is with the first fight being a cultist, your first event is 10 out of 25 to be a combat. If the first fight is not a cultist, your first event is 0% chance, 0 out of 75 to be a fight. Take as many combats as possible. And that that would just be giving us uh, three free easy pool fights. If I wanted to take four combats going up to the elite, I could also get a colorless card. But removing two defends on silent. I think it could be doable. I think it could be doable. Personally, I'm going to try the snipe here, but there's a, there's a number of options that we could be utilizing. It is a cultist. We get a fairy in a bottle. All right. Well, that's positive. And a riddle with holes or bouncing flask. Interesting. Bouncing flask is a really good first card. Riddle with holes says not mastered on it, but that's not enough reason alone to take it. I'll take a first floor flask. Do we get the snipe? It's time to spin the wheel. Let's see. Wheel of change. All right, so that's basically guaranteed the snipe has failed. As this is a uh, shrine event, they're called. We get blessed with 100 gold, which we will be able to use sometime next act. Unless we're really lucky and there's a shop here. Heel hook, huh? I'll take a back flap. 
So this should be a combat. Um, my understanding is that when you encounter a shrine event, your next question mark room cannot contain an event or shrine. It'll be either fight shop or treasure. It's a fight. Okay. Lament seems like it was mostly worthless. At least we can get some AoE from the all-out attack. Tools of the trade for draw discard is cute, but right now we need some more damage or else. So we'd better take this. And a fourth combat. I guess that's fine, actually. Maybe even a good thing, arguably. Go for this acid slime first. Tough fight. Actually, this is one of the nastiest fights in Act 1 out of all of them. Quite a kill. Okay, we get through the fight without too much damage, and we do get another potion, actually, so we're pretty well set up for these elites. We also get another attack card. There's the second riddle with holes. A dagger throw as draw one, discard one, or deadly poison to stack more poison. I think dagger throw is the most all-around useful one at the moment. Especially for Slime Boss, Dagger Throw is really good. Is the boss snipe VOD on YouTube? I've actually never sniped a boss. Unless we maybe did a seated run once, but I've never had a random boss snipe. Okay, we got a good potion for this. Kerblam. Double Kerblam. Doesn't even seem good. No, it's, it's not very good. It is definitely not very good. I guess we'll target the front one. Make it more likely that we kill it next turn. Strike, uh, all out attack would do it. Or double defend all out attack. No, surely it's better to just kill. <laughs> no, the, the artifact. No. All right, 33 health out of the first elite. Only one potion used. I feel pretty good about that. Now drop meat on the bone. Do it. Happy flower. That's a good silent card. Every three turns, gain an energy. Very nice with the bouncing flask. Worth trying to manipulate fights so that the happy flower reads two at the end of combat. That way on turn one of the next fight, we draw additional cards and have more energy. Bullet time, an unmastered rare card here, but pretty hard to compete with terror, making all of our attacks do more damage. Yeah, very hard to compete with Terror. Do I like Happy Flower or Lantern more? Generally Happy Flower. Since you can have the Happy Flower be like a Lantern, but better. Tough choice, man. I think we can do another Elite, though. Since the next fight is guaranteed to be a single target, let's upgrade the Bouncing Flask for another stack of poison. Whether we're fighting Nob or Legavulin, that should be very helpful. And indeed, we get to turn one Terror Bouncing Flask Lega. That's great. My only regret is drawing Survivor turn one. Maybe want to take a little bit more so we can all attack here. I think I should. Go neutralize, defend, all out. 
Next turn, we have four energy. Guaranteed 15 block. I think we backflap first. I don't want to draw defense next turn, so if I play defend before drawing, we're going to shuffle it back into the draw pile here. Let's not do that. Okay, this is fine. Right, this is this is the sort of hand we don't want during the debuff turns. We get Happy Flower set to two. Hey, this went pretty well. We get a Darkstone Periapt. If we obtain any curses, could we get max health? And two more rare cards. Tools of the Trade is back, and so is After Image. Interesting. I'm down for Tools of the Trade versus Slime Boss. That helps a lot. If only we'd taken bullet time, this acrobatics would be better. Y'all think Acro is the best card here? I don't know that I agree that it's better than Tools of the Trade. No, Death Draw. The Happy Flower doesn't advance until the beginning of your next turn. Um, so after the enemy turn. Enemy has to take and complete their full action. So if they die to Poison or Thorns, the Happy Flower won't increase. Two tools here. Tools is a good upgrade, too. It becomes a zero-cost power. Let's see. Currently getting three rest sites. We could also go this way. Since I have 300 gold, it might be worth giving up one rest site to get a shop here. But honestly, we're pretty good against Slime Boss, as we are. Let's just take a lot of money into Act 2. Whetstone. Two random attack upgrades. Great with the Terror. Even if this is two strikes, which it's not. One strike and the all out attack gets upgraded. Excellent. I am going to upgrade this. Hello again, sentries. A little more difficult as we don't have an explosive potion this time. We do have some other stuff. Let's just go defend, defend, all that attack. Bummer. Play the strike. Hey, hey, happy flower, and we actually get to use the energy. How nice. It's great news. Show me bouncing class this turn. Really good draws. No way to save the happy flower, unfortunately. Dead. Two more upgrades. The war paint will upgrade two random skills. That's a really big early boost to our upgrade density by populating the deck with stuff that's say plus. Are we gonna pick a skill before that happens? I'm down for a blade dance here, especially a blade dance with a chance to be upgraded. That'll help a lot in a slime boss fight with terror. Sure. Quick slash also not terrible. But I think the blade dance has gotta be better. Now I almost wish we'd taken after image. Our skill upgrades are merely to defend cards, but that's still pretty useful. Don't don't underestimate the utility there. Um, they all have more than fourteen health. You say? Hmm. Might be a skill potion moment here.
I think it is. That'll do it. Yeah, that was probably worth it. Cloak? Eh. I don't think we want it. Let's upgrade this Blade Dance and maybe neutralize or backflip next. Let's see what we get from the last fight. It's not going to be an easy one, that's for sure. If I want to KO the Louse, we can do Terror Alt Attack. Means the Slaver is not terrorized, but I think that's still correct. Set Happy Flower to a higher number? Let's do it. We'll be entangled next turn, so I'd have to draw the Bouncing Flask. Let's not count on that. Do I take a Piercing Whale? Could help a little against Slime Boss. I think it'll mostly be an obstacle, but it's really good in Act 2. Slice is probably the better Slime Boss card. I really don't want to slice. Let's take a Piercing Whale. We have a Fairy in a Bottle, so I think resting is not particularly worth it. This is our way to tank the big crush from the Slime Boss. We should upgrade our damage. Dagger Throw upgrade, or maybe the Terror upgrade. Let's do the Terror upgrade. Get all our cost reductions down already. Hopefully we can make it through and then we'll be able to cash in this huge amount of money next act. But even should we perish here, that's okay. Bouncing Flask could be really nice right about now. Looks like we're losing the fairy. Uh, so we need to optimize. Let's see, if I do minus 18 this turn, bring Slime Boss to 100. Next turn we can do 21. Or 24. Is that right? Let me d double check that. 108. Minus 18. Minus 12 from Bouncing Flask. Minus... Oh, no, 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 no. Also, yeah, that's down to 90. That's where I went wrong. Okay, so 78 if I just play Bouncing Flask Terror. Can I do better than 78? Yes, if I skip two strikes and play Strike Plus. We can do 77, right? That'd be 108 minus 6. <clears throat> 108 minus 6 minus 12 minus... 13. 77. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Ooh, what I didn't do was factor for tools of trade. This is fine. Thank you, Fairy. So we're splitting this turn regardless, unfortunately. To do as much damage as we can. Strike all at attack. 36 HP on the slimes. It'll have to do. Let's do like this. You die next turn to Blade Dance Strike. Please don't hit me. I 
goodness for tools. Refuse to be weakened here. 15 health. We can kill one of them. Hopefully. Oh boy. Yeah, so we can kill one of them and block the other one. I think we're okay here. Actually, wait. Strike, strike, kills one. Bouncing flask, neutralize, kills the other. GG. GG. Nice clean fight. Well, maybe not that clean. We had a lot of slime on us. Unmastered cards or the Wraith form card? Hmm. It's actually not a bad die to die, die. Is my camera usually blocking enemy health? Only in a couple of fights with the current config. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. And my name is Bebop. Why was the silent prepared for her D&D game? Because she brought her die die dies. I think I am going to take die 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 here going into act two. Intangibility is definitely one of the better ways to get block for a run. But if we go the, the beaten path, we're not going to get any new cards crossed off the mastery list. I'll take it. And we're offered Cursed Key, which will give us max health if we take curses. That's not too bad, in addition to more energy per turn. Fusion Hammer would give us more energy, but prevent us from uh, smithing at rest sites. Or we could transform and upgrade three cards with the Astrolabe. Pretty good. Transform three strikes. Since I've got a Relic that gives me some energy and some upgraded zero-cost cards, I have uh, less distaste for this thing than usual. But the Periapt is definitely making me eye the Cursed Key. And we still need to master some curses. And I have tools of the trade, so I can discard whatever the curse is basically every time. I'm going to take this curse key. Do I consider the die die died exhaust to be positive or negative? I really like exhausting attacks on the silence. Backstab, die die die, endless agony. They're essentially front-loaded cards that let you do damage really quickly to short combats. And then in boss combats, you exhaust them so that you can draw consistent blocks, which you're going to need. So I consider it an upside for the most part. Really liking this path. Hit this shop with 500 bucks. And we can go to another one, maybe. Don't have to fight this elite, but maybe could. That's a pretty juicy line through Act 2. The Dai 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 should make the elites a little bit more manageable, too. Main concern is Book of Stabbing, but that's what Bouncing Flask is for. Speaking of, Bouncing Flask solves this fight pretty well. Currently, we can apply 6 Poison. That won't be enough. So we have to draw into Piercing Whale or Terror. Let's try it. Got it, okay. Neutralize, Piercing Whale, Bouncing Flask applies 9 Poison. Which means we only have to survive next turn. And then this dies to poison. Poison going through block, of course. Very helpful. As you can see, this turn would have been pretty bad. Without the poison kill. Smoke Bomb lets us escape from a non-boss fight for no rewards. Get out of here, Dagger Spray. Caltrops could be an interesting damage plan for certain silent decks. Not very good on Champ, though. For Champ, we'd like to find a Catalyst or just more Poison in general. As well as ways to block better, a Footwork, ways to retain cards, a Well-Aid Plans. Any of that would be good. How about Apparitions? Reintangibility, each fight. We can get max health back with a Periapt. We can discard apparitions we don't want to play with the tools of the trade. It's not a bad set of apparitions here.
Let's do it. I'm looking for answers to the boss. This could really help. Shuriken is here. That's a way to scale our damage. Build your own Wraith form. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. Let's start with these two. Well, I plans Nightmare for sure. Oh, we can't quite get the Shuriken after that. I guess I have to buy the Prismatic Shard then. And we'll lose a strike. No, that's not a strike. There we go. Ah. No thanks. Ah. Yeah, this will either be a short run or it'll be the best run ever. Place your bets, Switch Shot. Uh, yeah, yourself. Where's my smoke bomb? I've got it, actually. Fun fact, you are screwed, sir. It's my smoke bomb. Trip's not very good when you have, uh, terror already, huh? Dramatic entrance is okay. Three damage on turn one. I'll take a dramatic entrance. Just one. Thank you, apparition. Easy. <laughs> Just play them all. All right, there's an elite fight next, so it's actually really important that we set the happy flower to the correct number. Let's not be too overzealous here. So we'd like to kill next turn. Does that want a phantasmal killer? Yes, especially now that we have a well aid plans. Power through? I don't think so. Flex is really interesting, though. Flex? With blade dance. And well aid plans. I kind of like it here. It's even a good nightmare target, being a zero cost card. We'll want to upgrade it, but I can do that. Let's let's take a flex. Let's take a flex. There's some fun things we can do with that. I am going to upgrade the uh, well-aid plans first, I think. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> sure is. Yeah, it sure is. That's a pretty good start to the book of stabbing fight. We get the rude pattern. 24 on turn one, but intangibility says I don't care. Some pretty good damage. Okay. 
right, not a lot of answers so far. I don't think this is flex potion. Unless this is unless the blade dance is on top. We shouldn't use the flex potion here. No, okay. So we'll go neutralize, defend, defend, bouncing flask. We should be able to kill next turn. We take a bit of damage here, only eight damage. That's a little sad, but still fine. And we should have a kill next turn, even if we have to use the flex potion to achieve it. Okay, so we can do 13 plus 24, right? That's not enough. All right, good talk. Ceramic Fish will give us money per card that we add. <laughs> Perfected Strike is here. I don't think so. Nightmare Perfected Strike makes them all stronger. That'd be pretty cute, actually. Nightmare Perfected Strike. What a weird build that would be. I don't think so. I don't think so. And yeah, I am going to upgrade this flex now. Let's see what happens. We're also going to open this chest. We get a curse, but also hit points. A doubt. We're offered the bronze scales. Versus sapphire key. Um, I think I'm going to skip the bronze scales. Not that good against champ. Not that good against um, whatever this elite is. It's not Book of Stabbing. I'm cool. You know, I'm, I'm cool. Get him, die, die, die. Not quite enough ca damage here, but very good piercing well. Only take three damage this turn. I like it. Tell me we can finish this fool next turn. Uh, that's not good. Oh, good. Okay, that is good. Plans, apparition, play dance. Oof. Easy fight. No more weakening me. fight. More max health, up to 46 now, having taken apparitions. That's pretty cool. How about Wish? Nightmare Wish. <laughs> Interesting. Wait a minute. If we get another Nightmare. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, we have to try, right? The possibilities are, uh, if there's a courier and another nightmare in our future, some very, very, very silly things could happen. That's why we keyed the bronze scales. <laughs> hmm. Even more max health? Give me your relic. We haven't mastered shame either, actually. We get a sundial. Okay. Up to 52 max health with apparitions. And we can remove the doubt. Keep the shame, leave the doubt. Have you no shame? We have some shame. We do have some shame. Also, we might lose the Book of Stepping fight. That'd be embarrassing. Hopefully Bouncing Flask is a little earlier this time. Looks like that's a no. We always have uh, Smoke Bomb, I guess. 
Maybe that means I need to wish for strength here. It's a pretty good idea. We can just wish for money and smoke bomb. No, it's better to wish for strength than kill. I still block with piercing whale. If I had one. Hmm. Show me piercing whale. Close enough. Actually, I think we just kill, yeah? Easy every time. We get the preserved insect, meaning future elites are easier to kill. Could take a metallicize, mostly for the purpose of blocking while we're intangible. That's not very good. No. Do we even want to go to this store? We don't have that much money. Can we beat Champ with what we have? Maybe. Let's risk it in an event here. It's a snake plant. Probably pretty good, actually. Shame about this apparition, though. How are we just going to play three nightmares and three wishes? It's pretty difficult to do, right? You'd need a lot of energy and draws to play three nightmares and three wishes. So you'd need maybe three free turns somehow. Yeah, three turns where the enemies don't do any damage to you in order to get all that set up. If only we had a way to do that. Less tricky now. Oh. Easy full block every time. Cool. Yeah, here, for example, I don't think we get to Nightmare Wish, but we do get to wish for money. One time. Works for me. Shockwave. Is that even good? Maybe we want the Sash Whip Plus. Just another way to apply weakness. Sash Whip's okay. We don't need the Vulnerable because we have Terror. Could take Poison Stamp to try to stack Poison on Champ, but I don't think it's good enough. 70% Potion Chance, huh? Gotta say, I do not know if we beat Champ here. Guess it depends on what we're trying to nightmare. We could nightmare an upgraded apparition. That's one option. We could nightmare wish and try to gain strength off that. In which case, upgrading the wish is really good. If we wish for strength four times, we'll have 16 strength. That'll be more than enough. Okay, let's upgrade wish. Could also nightmare tools of the trade. Otherwise, we gotta go around again. That could be difficult to do. Nightmare flex is also curious. 
Not sure that gets us where we're going, though. Means we could discard all the apparitions. Nah, we're gonna. It's not nightmare right now. I see you metallicizing turn one, jerk. as possible double Mattel size. If he starts going for strength buffs, we're in real trouble. Turns a free turn. Still have one apparition. So we can Nightmare Wish next turn. Here we go. This champ is doing his uh, taunt turn. Strength buff turn? That's kind of good for us, actually. Better keep a block card. Okay, we're going to tank a hit here to get Wish in play. Champ is also wishing for strength. Oh, he sure is. <laughs> it's a competition now, champ. All right, I think it's time we rush down. Uh, we can avoid getting attacked next turn. This will let us dish out a lot of damage. And if we're lucky, we can apparition during the execute turn. Good. I actually don't think I want to play the dagger throw just to improve the odds that we apparition next turn. Although, it does so much damage, actually just kills champ. So forget the apparition. One hit point. And then he killed us. All right, buddy. Make me some money. GG. Now we're rich. Oh no. Oh no, it's finally happened. Never in 7,000 hours of playing this game have I assembled this combo, but here we are.
build your own infinite money ab abuse glitch. We can now wish, we can nightmare nightmare to make more nightmares and then nightmare wish to make more wishes. And yeah, if we find an enemy that we can stall against, we can make essentially an arbitrary amount of money here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And yeah, the best thing is that you can, if you can start generating infinite wishes, you can wish for plated armor to get enough plated armor to stall out in any fight. Even, let's say, Giant Head, we could outstall with infinite wishes if we wanted to. That's pretty ridiculous. Definitely energy hungry, which makes me think Slaver's Collar is a good pick here. I don't really like one more draw per turn or extra... extra relics here. Just one corruption from greatness. Oh, man. How's it going, Maximus the Gluteus? Thanks for 15 months in the Prime sub. That's still only three nightmares, but yeah, but then you can use one of the three nightmares to target another nightmare and make three more nightmares. And then you can use that to make even more nightmares. Dingus Butticus, what a name, what a player. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Koozie Sub Club. So, yeah, we're going to go to this shop, and we're going to hope that we can stall one of these two fights. There are a lot of different fights that we could get into a stalling position with here. Um, which means we can probably just go to three shops. <laughs> yeah, here's one such fight, actually. This is one such fight. All right. Uh, all right, I think it's time to begin a prediction. <laughs> Will this fight take less than an hour? That is the prediction. <laughs> so for reference, we are at the 48 minute mark of this run right now. They do keep buffing their strength, but the strength is reset every time they die. All right, Twitch chat, here goes. frailty for me. I tell you how much gold I'm aiming for before we move on. We would be aiming for probably at least 5,000. Might as well go to 10 grand. 10 grand sounds like a good number. One million dollars. It's be a nice turn to Nightmare Apparition, but if we do that, we can't do the other thing. So, no. Problematic. It's definitely not the draws we were looking for. Blade plans and tools are in play. takes you to 12, 14. Can't 
get them both. We can do this. Good. Didn't discard Nightmare. Sundale is going to be really important here. Do we wish for armor first or money? No, we're going to wish for armor first. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. So here's the Nightmare, the Nightmare, and the Wish, but can I play them? Not really. Although, actually, uh, no, I don't want to kill this one, right? Yeah, it's definitely safer to wish for armor first, but what we have to do is is Nightmare, Nightmare first, then we can Nightmare Wish, then we can play Wish. We can't play the Wish until we Nightmare, Nightmare, and then Nightmare Wish. Thankfully, we have a lot of extra energy next turn. What I'm going to do is play Blade Dance and use this Nightmare on a Shiv, just for more stuff. Since I'm going to get three Nightmares. And that is going to cause some overdraw, that's true. Hopefully that won't be a big deal. You're right, that will be an issue. You get in with those shivs. Looking good here. 19, that's enough. Let's discard this, I guess. I don't need that many nightmares. Here we go. Nightmare of the Wish. It begins. The middle one should be damaged. They want to keep the defense. Let's just do that for the moment. Is this real? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, it is. To the moon, Twitch Jet. Uh, tempting time to speed potion here. That would let me get started. That's probably worth it. Let's do that. Take the hit. Seven plated armor. We only take three here. That's probably worth it. Better keep the auto attack, actually. So let's see. We have two nightmares. So we must use nightmare on wish next. Uh, nightmare on nightmare next. We can play this wish if we wish. If we wish, we can wish. Hmm. Seems relatively bad. This might be the time for the speed potion. We're going for circlet? Uh, if we find courier, we could get circlet. It's not likely to happen, though. It is not likely to happen. Am 
Have I done this infinite gold before? No, I've never done this personally on stream in a random run. Never. So we do 18 here. 18 plus 8 is 26, so I couldn't even kill. Okay, just speed pot. Probably worth just wishing for plated armor again. Take more damage up front, take less damage in the long term. Ow. Here we go. This is now starting to be something more along the lines of what we're looking for. It's almost worth doing. Really need to kill them, though. Flowers save me. Here we go. you kill this one. Almost kill you. But don't actually. Keep Nightmare Wish. It's crazy how dependent we are on a Sundial to actually make the big turns happen, or a randomly not getting attacked is also going to work here. Is this flex on attack? I think so. Two plus thirteen. That's enough. I wish to live forever. Upgrading a nightmare would have helped a lot. Definitely. If one of these nightmares was, was two cost, we could do a lot more. But even with things as they are, we can get some stuff done here. As you can see. Wish for strength and kill? What we do? Three by seven. No, we could not. We don't have room in hand for the blade dance. Let's see, incoming damage is 31. We can go to 30 plated armor, take one. I don't need to take one. Now we can do this. Let's keep 
the wishes for now. Well, one nightmare. Here we go. It's only 34. Let's just wish for more plated armor. Is this run part of a mastery challenge? Yes! Little step. This happened to us randomly, and I couldn't be more flabbergasted. I've never seen this lineup randomly before. I know why this run is five hours long. Because I chose to live forever, that's why. 2637. Yeah, we're already already good here. How's it going, Leet Nana's? Delightful shenanigans indeed. We've really stumbled on something special here today. Truly ridiculous. Have that feeling like you're experiencing a nightmare you just can't wake up from? And Pan MGG, thanks for the 200 bits. I wish. Wish I wish I was a fish. Target plated armor in this fight, about 100. I think that'll be more than enough to. Just start ignoring what the Darklings are doing. Currently, you have to pay attention to them. I don't really want to do that. So let's not do that. Can we actually get a Master of the Circlet? That'd be pretty cool if we could pull that off. Maybe had just a little more energy. This is why we want 100 plated armor. In case they get really aggro. The circlet is not technically included in the mastery challenge, but if we can make it happen, then heck yeah. I would love for that to be the case. This card exactly is why Plated Armor is limited at 999. Exactly. You reset your strength. Of course, we're not even going to get a circlet unless we're lucky enough to find the courier. And that's probably not going to happen. Probably not. Coop Coop Beware, thanks for the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sip Club. Alright, one more Plated Armor Wish.
They're slowly buffing strength, but it, it's not enough to keep up with our immense plated armor here. I think this run is plated for good things. Sure have a lot on our plate right now. Can Courier be sold at a shop? No. We have to find it from the Elite or this treasure chest. We only really get... Or this Elite, I, I guess, technically. We only really get two chances. But what we will be able to do is absolutely clear everything out of four shops in the rest of the run. So we should, we should probably make an easy ten grand. If we find the Courier... Well, that could be pretty impactful, let's just say, for mastering cards. Honestly, the chance of courier means I should probably go above 10 grand, but I think 10 grand's a good stopping spot. What's the maximum gold possible? I do not know that there's actually a limit. I think you can go above 100,000. It begins our first wish for gold. I'll only do this once per turn, sadly. Yeah, the only, the upper limit is our patience, essentially. Only the Nightmare had been upgraded. We'd have a lot more opportunities to sneak cards in. buy all the cards ever, would that impact the chances of the win running? Consider that I would also have all of the relics ever. We'd be pretty likely to win, I think. Finally, double wish turn. Courier isn't guaranteed, might be a lot of wasted time. That's why we're only going to 10,000. If I knew we were getting a courier, we'd go more than 10,000. play that. Didn't look at those numbers very closely, did I? Let's make sure we don't mess this up. Just add the money in console now that we've seen, now that we've proven it. No, I'm, I'm going to do it the hard way here. Feel honor bound. Only 300 plays left in Wish. All right, yeah, 10, 10K sounds like a good stopping spot. Twenty-four strength, Darkling. Get out of here. Thank you. 
Six under. Will this part be fast forwarded in the YouTube upload? One hopes so. <laughs> Otherwise. Yeah, one hopes so. Master reality work with Nightmare. No, the... Or with Nightmare? Actually, yes. With Nightmare, yes. Not with Wish, though. It won't upgrade these things. But it will work with Nightmare. Sundial save me. Sundell did not save me. How am I keeping track that I have enough of each card to keep going? All I need is two nightmares and one wish, so I just need to keep the number lots. We're way above what I need. Almost at 1,000. Yeah, we might not even win this run. <laughs> That'd be the sad thing, right? That'd be a sad time. I think you, in theory, could overflow the gold counter. To do so using this method would take an inordinate amount of time. Like... Possibly literal years. If I'm going to click everything personally, especially. We have all the time in the world. It, actually, we are in fact limited to the length of one human lifespan. Is it the unfortunate upper limit here? Actually, probably not. We're limited to the lifespan of our hard drive. Although I might be able to like, no, you can't, because you can't save and quit, right? The the mid mid state, mid fight state will not be preserved. So, if the computer crashes at any point, all of the progress will be lost. Which means our upper limit is however long all of the components of this computer can keep running. Which I'm going to guess is less than one human lifespan. Just have to restart. That's right. 
from the top. One tenth of the way there, that's right. As, as aforementioned, we're going to try to go to 10 grand here. Although we started with 300, so we're actually only 7... 100 of uh, the way there. a 20 strength darkling i have olivia 5k thank you so much for the very generous five gifted subs welcome everyone to the hot nonsense club is that more than 102 that's a lot of damage uh 26 31 38 let me do math real quick No, that's only 95. Easy. All right, we should probably reset uh, one or two of them. You. Yeah, it was the other day that I was talking about um, uh, rare circumstances inspire that can cause you to lose an inordinate amount of time if you're trying to optimize. This is so rare that I'm actually quite grateful to spend time on it because I've, like I said, never seen this before personally. In 7,000 hours of gameplay, I'm, I'm quite happy we had this. Sunstone checked. Gold is stored as an integer, meaning we need... 2 billion. If I generate 30 gold every 10 seconds, it'll take 22 years to do it. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. That middle one, huh? Die. Okay, now we've gained a thousand gold. Does gold have an influence in the final score? Yes. Although we can only get a cap of 75 points from money, so that's what we're going to get is 75 points. Maybe we'll stop at 5k? <laughs> Maybe. Might be a reasonable number to stop at. We're already at the half hour mark, oh god. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? I've got a thing to go to later. Look, I have to stop the stream at 6pm. Hmm.
fact that I have to discard a card each turn is really quite time consuming. Freaking tools the trade, man. Is there a turn limit? No, you can take as many turns and slay the spire as you want. We're currently on turn 105 of this combat, with many more to come. Turn count appears very briefly in the center of the screen. The beginning of each turn. Right here. Underneath turn. Very much possible to play the game for, oh, I don't know, 500 hours before you notice that that's there. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. Is that a mod? Asks Switch Chat. Nope. Nope. That's been there every single turn you've played this game. The whole time. Imagine losing the run after this. It's certainly possible. It's certainly possible. How many shops before the bosses? Three. Is the very satisfying answer I can give to that. There are three shops before the next boss. I wish for a little bit of strength. Just to make the resetting of the Darklings a bit easier for us. See, if we had career, let's say average relics, probably 200 gold under those conditions. about 100 relics we'd have to buy, so 200 times 100 is 20,000. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Two thousand gold. But think of the circlet mastery. Don't worry, if we find a if we find a career, I can just do this again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> These cards are always in my deck, after all. Well, let's do it again. We can stall infinitely versus the Awakened One. <laughs> They're not powers, they don't make the Awakened One stronger. Okay, you're doing too much damage. Rendo. That's just a little bit too much. 44, 44, 45. That's actually too much, right? Yeah, that's... Whoa. That's 133? Terrifying. Okay, you're gonna die. Oh no, not 44 times 2. Rather, excuse me. You're right. I mismapped that in my head. I panicked. There was no need to panic. Is the middle one special? The middle one actually can't multi-attack, so in a way they are. Fun little fact about this fight. Does burst work on Wish? Yes, it does. Closing in on that one hour mark. Yeah, imagine if we don't make it through the next fight. I can smoke bomb the next fight. We'll make it. We'll make it.
How's it going, Kate Devils? You've, uh, you've stumbled upon something extra special today. Whether that's a good thing or not depends on, uh, I guess, your preferences. We are definitely doing some odd things. Still planning on doing another run? No, no, this is our last run, for sure. For sure. That's right, if we have unlimited money in career, that means I can buy unlimited cards. With ceramic fish, that means unlimited money. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is how I see my Twitch revenue each month? Yeah, kinda. It's free money. Three days later. Papito's Kauto wishes for a dad joke, but I'm afraid I'm feeling rather exhausted. My. <laughs> Believe it or not, Rackbar, the draw pile, discard pile, and exhaust pile can easily insulate the spire display 10,000 or more cards without too much slowdown. The game engine can easily handle what I'm doing. The port versions I could see having bigger issues. Those are not coded the same way. Yeah, I know that because of because uh, of endless mode. Players have gone to thousands of cards in endless mode. Works pretty well, actually. Yeah, Shame is not a card that does damage based on our gold. Be nice. Yeah, five five K is I think we're gonna stop. That's enough that we can reasonably spend almost all of it with the shops we have coming up. But short enough that uh I'm not gonna run out of human time. And that'll be around the one hour plus mark for this fight, which is just fine by me. How's it going, loot the loot goblin? Interesting run is a bit of an understatement. We've got some hot nonsense going here. Gonna buy every relic without second thought? Pretty much. There might be a couple we don't want. This is just a normal run. That's how it started, anyway. Certainly is no longer a normal run. How does it feel to be rich? It's a good feeling. It's a very good feeling. Yeah, if only we had that uh, bullet time still. Got offered a bullet time act one. I didn't take it. I kind of regret that. Turn 205.
least I don't have Nilri's Codex, you know? Imagine how much slower this could be. Still not the longest fight I've had, actually, either. So I think by the end of it, it will be. What was slower than this? Uh, this picture. Exclamation point, 1001. Took longer. From what I recall, anyway. And yeah, we're going to be stopping at 5k. Thought no wishing for more wishes was the first rule. That's true. However, you're allowed to make a shell company and use your wishes to give wishes to the shell company. And then the shell company is allowed to use their wishes to give wishes to you. And then the genies can't tax you or something. <laughs> Silence a member of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right, we're at 4,000, 1,000 to go, Twitch chat. I think in 15 minutes, we're going to be out of here. Easy. Trade it all for the red mask. Now there's an idea. Nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare next time we see them. If we got career, we would be able to master potentially quite a few cards. That would be really quite something. Again, not expecting it to happen, but kind of hoping. Nightmare, Nightmare, I think. We take only 999 gold? Who needs 999 gold? What a pathetic sum. Joe Lobo, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club.
Ice cream definitely would have helped here. A lot of things could have helped here, but one wish per turn we'll have to do. Oh, finally, the seven energy turn. Turn of the gods. Four, 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 four. Nah, I don't... No spoilers, please, Bailey. Don't want that to influence my decision-making. And I I don't even have the, the time, again, the, the real human time to... to go for more, even if I were to get courier guaranteed. Three hundred and thirty cards in the exhaust pile, by the way. Also, Faley, could you could you pay out to the? Uh, yes, the fight took more than one hour. <laughs> Prediction. Oh my lord. We are officially at the one hour mark here since starting the fight. We estimated the money for all relics Sancho would be about 20 grand. It's a lot of relics in this game. That's not including membership card, which would cut it in half. Note that the, the courier does not spawn new shop relics in the shop, so we're not guaranteed to see the membership card, even if we can buy all the relics that the shop has. Frozen Fox joining the list of channel cuties. All hail Twitch chat, a new channel cutie. Let me get you added right away, Frozen Fox. You got it. Make this fight last just a little bit longer. You're added to the list. Seven and a half energy per combat. <laughs> That's funny. Sundell's eight and a half energy per combat. Almost there. Forty nine twenty four. Five thousand gold. All right, let's get out of here. It's 
Smell you nerds later. Perfect setup on the relics. Do I want a charge battery plus? I kind of do, actually. Or we could Nightmare Nightmare Claw. The Claw! All right, now to back to our regularly scheduled normal pace fire run. Question mark. I guess I wish for plated armor. I don't need to wish for gold in every fight, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, trying this against Orb Walker, not recommended. Pro tip. any of this. Wait, Panacea with Flex. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, my. Wait. What's wrong with this poison potion? Hello? Uh, let's go with... Oh, Setup. Here we go. Setup, Frozen Eye, Potion Belt, Tyranithopter, and Tropic Brew. At minimum, remove a strike also. Keep the shame for now, just in case we can find another one. Uh, anything else that we want in this store? A second well-aid plans is okay. Sure, I'll take one more well-aid plans. So we have 4,200 gold left after shop one of four, by the way. There are three more shops this run, guaranteed. Although I do have to beat that burning elite. Poison motion went bad because we took too long to get here. <laughs> it's an okay eviscerate. Could buy another smoke bomb. I don't think I'm going to use it, but I might as well buy this for five health. Designer inspired. Another chance to spend money. Full service, please. Setup. Plus. All right, who's ready for round two? No, don't do that. <laughs> no one? No one is ready for round two. All right, well, I'll just Nightmare Die to Die then. That seems fine. Miniature giant nemesis. I guess? I guess so. Convenient. Here, nightmare wish. If I want to. I 
We could end up taking some damage next turn, huh? Hmm. We'll do it this way. Just gonna wish for plated armor here. Do that. Rude. Extremely rude. <laughs> Nothing we can't get back. Turn could be bad, though. Thank goodness. Okay, all's well. Time to neutralize this threat. Sell deep breath. Nah. All right, and yes to a shop again. Let's recall here. Shop number two contains the strange spoon, as well as a violence, an ornamental fan, and a vajra. Strange spoon gives our cards that would discard a chance to not discard very good or would exhaust excuse me a chance to not exhaust very good with apparitions very good with nightmare very bad with shivs but five unlimited intangibility who even cares <laughs> now we can farm another 5,000 gold that's right I think that ancient pot Want anything else here? I don't think so. Certainly not infinite blades, now that we have Strange Spoon. Alright, good talk. I will be opening this chest, because there could be another shame curse inside. It's an injury instead and a smiling mask. Deal. Prostrate. Fascinating. Ball lightning is also interesting. Nightmare Prostrate has some very curious applications. Let's try it. Shop number three. Mummified Hand. Whenever we play a power card, a random card in our hand will cost a zero. Slim Courage is a might as well. Uh, we're no longer able to get curses, so we should remove our curses. Don't have many powers. That's mostly true. Still quite potent here. Thinking ahead seems better than nothing. Acro seems better than nothing. Buy another shiv potion. Buy another shiv potion. I'm not even sure I want to fight another elite. Although it's our last chance at career. We should, we we ought to. We ought to. 
Not holding out for dollies. If there's a dollies in the final shop, we can dupe the injury. I don't think I want Mind Blast. Oh, that's right. The courier doesn't appear beyond floor 48. Six, seven. This is floor 48. I think it can, I think it can appear here. And yeah, we should buy a potion, this one. Not gonna take the fumes, question mark? I don't think so. Can get six more max health here, I guess. Huzzah? Fight can be stalled with 100 plated armor? That's definitely true. Sure can be. Let's do this. Cannot get more than one curse from this fight. Alas. We've also already mastered Parasite. be free, but good way to kill this enemy. Is it possible to die from removing Parasite? No, you cannot have less than one max health. If you get down to one max HP, you can no longer lose max HP. We have double die die die. Finally a mastery candidate. Excellent news. <laughs> I'm happy to see you, sir. Hello. Welcome to my run. Catalyst is here. Apotheosis is here. Waffle is here. Pear is here. We have 75 max HP. Let's go, Twitch chat. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This run is the nuts. Just, just crazy. Might as well. How do we feel about blessing the forge? With Apotheosis, I no longer need it. Swift Strike could be a thing. Uh, I need to make sure we win the run, though. I'm just gonna take the backflip. Onwards. Man, four shops in Act Four, uh, in Act Three. That's that's truly ludicrous. Just ludicrous. What luck. What absurd luck. Should've discarded this. Oh well. Uh, I knew I was gonna draw into that too. Should be a bit more careful. No longer any attacks in the draw pile? That's cute. Draw towards Nightmare here. I don't really want to play Blade Dance because of reasons.
fine. Just in case I need some more money, might as well. The boot! Floodletting? Actually, kind of amazing. Lake Soup and Corpse Explosion are also pretty good here. With Nightmare Catalyst, I think I want the Corpse Explosion. Alright, our first boss, the Awakened One. Yeah, we can do some good stuff next turn. Take some damage initially, that's okay. Set up Catalyst? No. Just play the Piercing Whale? Yeah, we should be okay. Vermontana, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Appreciate it. So we got to backflip first here, right? If we want to Apparition this turn, I do want to Apparition this turn. And not play this well-laid plans, at least not initially. Exactly blocking all that well next turn. That's okay. Let's just use this. Now I can use this well-laid plans. Easy peasy.
Oh, I supposed to copy that free nightmare. I can still do it though. Orichalcum, I knew we were going to get use out of that thing. Haha! -ha. Easy Orichalcum every time. Shouldn't retain those. GG. A little excessive, but pretty fun too. Who's next? Time Eater. Well, Time Eater, got pretty bad news for you, which is that I drew Nightmare Nightmare Turn 1. So you're going to be in some trouble here. Dagger throw. to block next turn. It's not the biggest deal. So next turn we get three nightmares and this. So we can set up a nightmare. Almost want to use the ancient potion, but I don't think I should. Duplicate this. Got to use this to duplicate the catalyst. And block. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all of this money? You prepare your daggers, dealing 2,080 damage, which is actually kind of low, considering the surely enormous score bonus the money must have given us. It's not that much score, though. 75 points at most. We didn't really perfect anything. Heck it. Uh, any upgrades matter that more than resting? We don't have Dreamcatcher in this run, do we? No. Maybe you want to upgrade one of the Nightmares. We can go to full health off the Toy Ornithopter. Skipped it. Cauldron is here. Hell yeah. Cauldron. Not much else that's all that inspiring, honestly. I guess colorless potion, fire potion? Blah. Actually, no, no, no. We got better potions in the cauldron, surely. No duplication, so we'll be removing the injury. What do you got for me, cauldron? Fairy in a bottle, power potion. Those are both pretty good. I think I like that more than the rest. Blip, blup, bloop. Fun fact, the cauldron is one of the relics that you can play with the keyboard by pressing the one through nine keys. I don't know why, but it is. Mm -hmm. 
So is Karen's ashes, by the way. Bloop, bloop. I guess Crippling Cloud's okay. Just another initial poison card. Same with fumes, right? With so many catalysts, we should probably take whatever just makes poison. Don't want Predator or the rest here. 43 cards, 799 gold left. We actually almost made the correct amount of money. That's pretty cool. All right. We also have more than 25 relics now because we were able to buy three relics in five shops each for 15 additional purchased relics. That's absurd, man. That's crazy. Hothiosis Charge Battery Terror. Uh-oh, that's not good. That makes me want to Power Potion right now. I'm going to Power Potion right now. Caltrops and Venom Accuracy. Hmm. Bummer. Hmm. And Venom's okay here. It'll remove the artifact off both of them. That lets me terror next turn. Or, well, two turns from now. We're gonna take a big hit next turn. Ouch. I guess we could Nightmare Defend? As mundane as that is, it seems helpful. Good Nightmare Die Die Die, but it won't be enough damage. Guess I'll Nightmare Defend. I can set up a burn to take two less damage. Huzzah? Huzzah. That's not too bad. Only 23 damage taken. No biggie. All the apparitions are very deep into the deck, unfortunately. Um, discard... I guess this defend. We might be able to kill you this turn. Yeah, I think we just kill. Okay. 48 out of 75 health going into heart seems just fine. Happy flower on two. Let's kill right now. All right. GG, spire, spear, and spire shield. We should be able to get most of our health back. Not going to take any of these. All right. Probably gonna Entropic Brew before the Fairy in a Bottle activates. Let's see, though. Nightmare Blade Plans. Oh, hey, we can Nightmare Apparition turn one. That's a good start. That means I don't need to Ancient Potion this uh, Vulnerable, because I'll be intangible anyway. Okay, Senji says, why does Feather spawn here? Here's the actual reason. Because... When the devs coded in the floor spawning restrictions on relics, Eternal Feather was a boss relic at that time. And so they didn't need to add it to the list of exceptions. 
Later on, they removed Eternal Feather from the boss pool, but they forgot to put in the exception because it was later. So the answer is the devs forgot because they changed the r rarity of the relic. That's also why you can find a white bee statue. Here's some trivia for you. This weekend's not gonna matter. Uh, I guess I'll put this on top, but it shouldn't matter. And then play it just in case we get to keep it. We don't. So we're going to use the potion on the flex instead. Wherever that is. Ow. Spoon! Spoon. Might want to use Piercing Whale here. I suppose we should. Catalyst coming up. So we can Nightmare Catalyst next turn? We can. Likely to use the yeah, we're not gonna use this fairy, so let's just drink these potions now. Uh, we can use these to remove the artifact layers, that's actually pretty good. So just nightmare the catalyst. Wish for might as well strength. We're getting more of these. Let's just use this one now. to see it. Ever did the prostrate thing, unfortunately. That's okay. To shreds, you say? GG, Mr. Hart. What a run. What an absolutely ludicrous run this has been. Actually, do you have to survive one more attack? There we go. Set that up. GG! And that's how you master Die Die Die, apparently. As well as making all the money in the world. GG! Dargo, thanks for the full year of support. Be free, my fairy friend.
If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.